I give myself a certain time frame so that I can just you know work on something else or do something else to get me boosted again because sometimes I wake up in the morning and I don't feel like painting you know I just I really don't feel like doing that um but then there's other days where I just like I have this need that I have to paint and that those are the days that I really do my best work. Now running her own art studio and business, Kelly has had a passion for artistic creativity since she was young. Everyone has those, oh when I grow up I'm going to be a fireman or I'm going to be whatever and it was always I was going to be a veterinarian or an artist. So during high school I worked in a veterinary hospital but then I decided when I was going to go to college I'd really be an artist and I decided to get my degree in graph design um, so I could have um, the best of both worlds. I used all my extra electives doing art, art, like really fine art things and then, um, but I also got to learn programs and like Photoshop and Illustrator so that if I needed to ever use those then I'd know how to use them. With the support of those around her and a wide knowledge of skills to get her going, Kelly decided to make the leap of being a full-time artist. I was lucky enough to have parents, um, to have family that encouraged the art, that bought me, you know, the supplies that I needed, you know, that they weren't like, oh, um, yeah, art's not going to get you anywhere. I really think you should be, go to be a lawyer or a doctor or something like that. You know, they knew ever since I was little, you know, they put me in extracurricular art classes and even from elementary school and up, you know, they really encouraged it. Especially my dad, you know, he's like, you know, do it then. He's like, look at it, do it, you know, just, just, you know, you only live your life once, you know, why not? You know, why wait? Why wait till, you know, 40 or 50 to, you know, have a place or a studio? Why not now? If I can do it, you know, why not now? Doing everything from personal portraits to murals, Kelly at first wasn't sure of the direction to take her art services. As it just so happens, it all fell into place. It was an adventure. Um, you know, I started working from home. Actually, it was really by accident that I even really started doing it. Um, you know, I graduated school, and then by some chance, I met some person in Panera Bread or something like that. Um, that you know, oh, what do you do, or what did you go to school for? Oh, I'm an artist, but I really want to do portraits and murals. Oh, really? I'd love to have a portrait done, and you know, that's how it all got the ball rolling. And it was really, um, I had to you know figure out a contract and like figure out all this legal stuff and do pretty much do it all on my own. Starting to work from home, Kelly eventually found a studio, doing everything from redesigning the space to marketing even developing new skills and items such as children's art and making jewelry. I'm almost like testing the market too on what's selling and what's, you know, what can make me money. Cause you know, even though I like doing a certain type of art or I really like doing horse portraits, is it gonna make me money? Can I market it? And right now murals for children's room is, rooms is what's really marketable and it's what people want. Um, even though I can do, you know, realistic um, Trump, lay -ole murals, um, you know, in a person's house or in their room, I can do that, but it's the children's murals that really, um, that people really want. And the same thing with children's room art, they want custom art, so that's why I really started getting into that. Um, and when I'm painting, I just paint. And sometimes I can paint for like three hours, you know, and I'm not talking to anybody, nothing, and I'm just off in that whole different mindset and I literally like when it comes to talk to somebody and I become a zombie because I'm just you know I can't even answer right or um, think right because I've been using the different part of my brain for so long and so it's nice to just do something else where um, I can relax. Expanding on her experiences by also teaching art to people of all ages it doesn't matter to Kelly whether she makes a lot of money What's most important to her is to continue doing what makes her most happy. My passion for art never died. It just never died. Sometimes you'll have people who, um, you know, were good at art in high school, but then they just never pursued it. Either they didn't think it would be um, a good job, they couldn't make money at it, and they didn't want to be a starving artist or whatever, but I knew that art was the only thing that I'd ever be happy doing, ever be happy doing, um, whether it made me a lot of money or not, you know, um, I'd, I'd know I'd find some way to, to make it work.